In a previous video, we've looked at how to uh, set up an equation to maximize the revenue of a business. So here's one more example. I'm going to go ahead and just briefly talk about how I set up this equation right here, which I've already typed in my calculator. And then we'll spend most of the time talking about how to find that maximum value and maximize our revenue. So uh, recall that with these problems, you'll usually be given um, like the current uh, sort of sales of a business. So right now we're selling 70 smartphones when we charge $320. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change that either by increasing or decreasing the price, which will then also increase or decrease how many we sell, uh, giving us this sort of parabolic shape which we should be able to maximize. So uh, one parenthesis should always be about how much uh, stuff you're selling. So right now I'm selling 70 smartphones. And then I notice that when I change the price, I sell about five more. So 70 plus that five, and then X is gonna represent how many times you change the price. So each time you change the price, you sell five more smartphones, starting at 70. There's my green parentheses, my first part. Uh, second parentheses will be about how much you're charging or your price. So again, we're starting out with $320, but we're decreasing the price $20 this time. So 320, my initial price, minus the 20 times X, which again is how, how uh, many times you're changing the price. So this time we're changing by $20, so I'm subtracting 20X. So that's where that came from. Here's uh, my equation typed in. Let's go ahead now and talk about how to find that maximum value. And a big part of this problem will be adjusting your window to see what you want to see. So right now I'm going to hit graph in my standard uh, 10 by 10 window. And we're going to see that we have a, a very terrible graph. In fact, I don't even think we see anything uh, no, there's no graph to be seen because the window stinks. So we need to adjust our window uh, to something that's going to be a little more reasonable and, and uh, show us what we want to see. So let's press window. When I do these problems, I always think about what X, our input, or what our output, I forgot to write the Y equals in front, uh, represents. So in this case, X represents the times we change the price. Well, I could, uh, as, as a minimum, I'm going to use zero. I could change the price not at all and leave the price as is. And then uh, for the, y, uh, sorry, x max, the most number of times I can change the price. Well, really, I mean, I, I have a little bit of freedom there. I lo it looks like when I sketched this out earlier, I used 20. Uh, if you want to be very uh, particular about that x value, you can figure out, well, how many times could you decrease the price by $20 until you're charging $0? So you can certainly figure that out if you want to be more precise. I think it looks like 20 is going to show us what we need to see. I'll leave your x scale the same. For your y min and y max, this represents your revenue, your output. Again, for a minimum, you could make zero dollars. That'd be really bad for business, but you could make zero dollars. Uh, and then for your uh, y max, I really don't know, but here's a trick that I like to use for these problems. So right now, we sell 70 smartphones when we charge $320. So what I do is I type in for y max, 70 smartphones times $320 a piece. I just type that uh, in there and hit enter. And so I can see that must be the revenue I'm making now. I'm making $22,400. Well, we want to go up from there. We want to maximize that. So pick a bigger number than that. Uh, it looks like I chose 30,000 earlier. And remember, it's just, it's kind of a guessing game. It's kind of uh, some logic and common sense. If you don't see a parabola where you can see its vertex, then you know your window's not good and you need to readjust it. No big deal. So let's graph and see if we see what I have kind of sketched out over here. Looks like it pretty good. I can see the, the high point occurs way at the beginning of this graph, somewhere in there. And then the price drops off as I, or the, the revenue drops off as I keep decreasing the price. So anyway, let's find that maximum value. So recall to do that, we're going to hit second trace uh, to go to the calculate menu. Select max or min, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. We're trying to maximize this time. So select option four, and they're going to give you uh, three questions, left bound, right bound, and guess. So I know my um, high point occurs way over here, so I can either arrow over, or if you're lazy, here's a little quick trick, um, type in zero. I'll make my left bound zero, so it's right there. And it moved my cursor over, so I didn't have to click as many times. Cool little trick. Um, your right bound just somewhere down here, uh, the high point somewhere in there, so that should be good. Um, there's my two um, bounds, left and right bounds. Guess, just hit enter. And it looks like it's going to take us to, remember this number, you may have a slightly different number. It's just one. Um, I don't know why they do that. It's just one, uh, comma, 22,500. So let's uh, take those values and then go and answer their questions because that uh, coordinate may not be the answer by itself. So the question uh, was, 
How much should we charge in order to maximize revenue? Well, remember this blue parentheses represent what represented what we were charging, and X was how many times we're going to reduce the price. So what that one means is I'm reducing the price one time by twenty dollars, or I've gone ahead right here and just done a little uh, in in red a little equation. 320 minus 20 times the one, that's where that one's coming from, uh, means I should charge $300 for, per smartphone. That's going to be my best option. And then the, qu the second question was, what is your max revenue? Well, that's the output. That's the Y value. So that's just the number as is right here from the calculator. So my maximum revenue is $22,500.